Hello friends, this video on communication systems part 3 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So let us look at the important elements which form a communication system. So what are the elements? So here we are talking about the most important and the basic elements which are needed to form a communication system. So what are those elements? Transmitter, channel and a receiver. So these are the three basic constituents of any basic communication system. So let us try to understand what are each of them. What is a transmitter, what is a channel and what is a receiver? Now, as I mentioned before also, whenever I talk about communication, it is some information being carried from one point to another, right? So the information is to be carried from a source to a destination. For example, if I am talking to you, so I am the source because I am the one who has some information to share. So I am the source of information. You are the one who is receiving the information. So you are the destination. So my information should reach you, right? So I am the source and you are the destination, right? So now let us see how, what, are, what is each of them and what is their purpose. Now in order to understand the concept of a communication system, we will take an example so that it becomes easier for you to understand what it is. Let us suppose you stay in Delhi, okay? And you want to send some information to a friend who stays in, uh, let's say, Bangalore. Right? Now, imagine that there is no phone. There are no telephones, no mobile phones, no internet, no email, nothing. So, what was the way of sending an information from one place to a distant place? So, previously, what was the mode of communication? People used to send letters, right? So, what do you do? Let's suppose this is you. You want to send some information. It may be anything. It can be anything. It can be uh, a good news that you want to share with your friend that you got a first class in your graduation degree. Or it can be you want to share that uh, you have got admission into a top college. So it can be any information which you have. So you are the source of information here. Right? So here, so you become the source of information because you are the one who has the information, right? Now, what do you do with that information? You go to a post office, you put the letter into a letter box and your job is done. Then what happens? The letter reaches your friend. How, do, how does the letter reach your friend? What happens to the letter from that letter box? So this letter, again, from where does your friend receive the letter? From the post office in his locality. So maybe this is the letter box in your city, maybe Delhi. And this is the letter box in his city, Bangalore. So from this letter box, not the letter box, but from this post office, the postman will collect all the letters and the postman will deliver it to your friend. But how did the letter reach from Delhi to Bangalore? It can be any mode. It can be via train. It can be via flight. So by one of these means, it actually reached from the post office in Delhi to the post office in Bangalore. So what is happening here? So who is the source of information here? You. And who? Wh where is the destination? Where does this information supposed to reach? To your friend. So your friend is the destination. Now you need a medium to take this information from source to destination. So what is that medium here? The medium here is the train. Train or flight or whichever mode. So what exactly? Now let us try to understand. So here you understand, right? How communication is taking place between you and your friend, even though you both are far away from each other. So let us try to understand these terms now, transmitter, channel and receiver with the help of this example. 
Now here, how do you send your information? Let us suppose you have the information that let us suppose the information which you want to share with your friend is that you have got admission to a top college. So how do you send that information? If you want to send it in the form of a letter, you have to package it in the form of a letter. So what he does, he packs the information in this form, in the form of a letter. So whatever message he has to share with his friend, he packed everything in the form of this letter. Then he took this letter to the post office. Now the post office will transmit the information. So this post office actually acts as the transmitter. So this post office is acting as the transmitter. The word transmit means to transmit something, to send something. So this post office is the one which is actually responsible for transmitting your information over a larger distance. So this acts as the transmitter. Now who here acts as the receiver? Someone who receives. So who is the receiver here? We can see that the post office here. Through this post office, your friend is receiving the letter, right? So here we can say that this is the receiver. Now, if you want the information to go from transmitter to receiver, so transmitter will send it, receiver will receive it. But there has to be a medium which will actually help the information to travel the distance between the transmitter and the receiver. There has to be something in between. So that medium is nothing but a channel. So what is a channel here? Here we can see that the rail is a channel. So the letter is, so the sender will have the information. He will convert the information into a form that is capable of transmitting. For example, if the, if this, if you go to the post office and you say that I have got admission to a top college, please send this information to my friend. Will they send it like that? No, they want the information into a particular format which they understand. And what is that format? That format is in the form of a letter on which the address of your friend is mentioned. So they want it and they want your information only in that format. So once you go there with that information in the format, so what will the post office in Delhi do? It will transmit the information. So that information will then travel through a channel. What is that channel? That channel might be rail. This might be air. If it is a flight, then it will reach the receiver. And the, who is the receiver? The receiver is the post office in Bangalore. Now, once the receiver receives it, then it will take out the information. What was the information? It was only the letter. And then the letter will be sent to the destined user. And who is the destination user? Your friend. Right? So you understand the concept? So we say that a transmitter, channel and a receiver are the three basic elements of a communication system. So if you want to transfer information over a large distance, you must have a device which acts as a transmitter, you must have a channel and you must have a receiver that is a device to receive the information. So the transmitter and the receiver they are located at two different places and the channel acts as a medium which connects these two different places. So let us look at these basic elements in little more detail. So when I talk of a transmitter what it is? The purpose of it is to convert the message signal from source into a form suitable for transmission. Like as we saw, like what, what was the information that you wanted to uh, communicate to your friend? That you got admission into a top college. But how did you, what was the suitable form in which the information can be transferred? In the form of a letter, right? So. Who, so what, what is the purpose of the transmitter? So the transmitter basically helps to convert the message signal from the source. So in that example, what was the transmitter doing? That means what was the post office of Delhi doing? It was taking the letter sent by you, putting all the stamps, all the needed stamps and everything over it and making it ready for transmission. Right? And that is the purpose of a transmitter. It will convert the message signal from source into a form which is suitable for transmission. That's because the signal which comes in as an input to the transmitter is <clears throat> it is not necessary that it has to be a signal in the appropriate form. 
right so sometimes if the signal which comes is a uh, i mean i'm not talking about this example right now i'm sure you have understood with the help of this example but in other cases if this input signal from the source is an audio signal or if it is a video signal right so that is not capable of being transmitted so that signal gets converted into electrical form and then those electric signals can be transmitted over long distances so this transmitter serves the purpose to convert the information into a suitable form so that it can be transmitted let us look at the next one that is the channel so what does a channel do it is nothing but a medium that connects the transmitter with the receiver transmitter's job is to convert the signal into a suitable form and then send it receiver's job is to receive that signal so there has to be something which will actually help the signal to move from the transmitter to the receiver and that is why we have a channel like how we had the train right if they let us imagine let us suppose if there is no train at all no rail no train no aeroplane nothing so how do you think that the letter will go from delhi to bombay even though the post offices are doing their jobs correctly but the letter has to travel right so it definitely needs a medium and that is what a channel does in a communication system and the last one the receiver which receives the signal from channel and reconstructs it to a recognizable form for delivering to the user so as i said the when the transmitter actually transmits it so what does it do it takes that letter it puts a lot of stamps it it marks it as depending upon the address where it is going to get delivered now when it actually travels the entire distance reaches the post office of bangalore so what happens there so in bangalore bangalore post office that letter is retrieved and then that envelope of letter because there they will receive that letter in a bunch there maybe there will be a box which has arrived from delhi so that box will contain all the letters now the receiver will not take that box and deliver it to your friend it will not do that so it will retrieve the letter which is intended for your friend and then it will send it to your friend in the same form in which you sent it so your friend will receive exactly the same letter which you sent it so the job of transmitter and receiver are just the opposite transmitter will convert your signal into a form which is suitable for transmission receiver will convert the form which is suitable for transmission into a form which is understandable by you right so i hope that these three terms are very very clear now i mean what what is the concept behind a transmitter a channel and a receiver because they are the most important parts of a communication system we cannot imagine or we cannot construct a communication system without any of these so let us quickly have a look at the same example because see i know i have been repeating this but why i have been repeating this is that because if you don't understand this basic concept you are not going to understand anything which i'm going to talk in the next slides so again you have you are the one who has information who are you you are the sender and what is the information it can be anything any meaningful fact so for now we have considered that you got admitted to a um, top college so that is your information so how are you going to send it to your friend you have written this information in a letter put have put your friend's address you go to the post office post the letter so what is the post office it is nothing but the transmitter because it will convert this letter into a form which is capable of being transmitted and what is that form it will put all the necessary stamps it will pack all the letters in a big box and then it will transmit now for this to reach the receiver which is in a distant place what is needed a medium is needed so who will provide that medium that medium is provided by rail right so your rail acts as a medium so here you are the sender your friend is the destination user the first post office is the transmitter the second post office is the receiver and the rail is the medium or the channel right so these are the basic things that constitutes any communication system thank you
please visit www.examfear.com to watch more videos, attempt free online test, get free study material, find tutors and mentors. Thank you once again.